Today, we're in a race in the World Series, but every single team represents a country, which means that Shohei Otani and Team Japan have taken over the Orioles. The Red Sox have been taken over by Team Taiwan. The Yankees are the South Korean national team. The Toronto Blue Jays are, of course, representing Team Canada. Fernando Tatis Jr. and Team Dominican Republic have taken over the Chicago White Sox. The Guardians with Carlos Correa and Francisco Lindor are Team Puerto Rico. The Tigers look a little bit different as Team Cuba. The Twins are representing Team Panama. The A's have traveled down under as Team Australia. The Marlins are actually looking stacked up as Team Mexico. Out in Washington, D.C. with the Nationals, we have Team USA. With Mookie Betts, Garrett Cole, Bryce Harper, Aaron Judge, Mike Trout, the list goes on and on. Team USA has easily looked like the most overpowered team in the entire tournament. But we still got to be careful because just like the WBC, Team USA ended up choking that. So I'm really hoping we don't have a repeat for this. Ronald Acuna Jr. and Team Venezuela have taken over the Brewers. The Reds have been taken over by Team Colombia. The Dodgers are looking very different as Team Italy. And to round out the rest of the teams, the Giants are the Kingdom of the Netherlands. We also have some upgrades for these teams if they complete certain challenges challenges, but that's for later in the video. Let's get the season started and let's hope that everybody's off to a hot start. We finally hit the halfway mark in the season now, and we have the top performers so far. Right now on July 2nd, we got Team Japan and Team Canada at the top of the AL East. Also, Team South Korea is doing very, very good as well. Only two and a half games behind Team Canada. In the AL Central, we got two teams running away with this thing. Team Dominican Republic is sitting 69 and 16. They are absolutely destroying everything. And Team Cuba with the Tigers is sitting 61 and 22. And look at poor Panama, 28 and 50. It's looking like Team Panama is going to take a quick exit out of this tournament. Team Australia is currently destroying the entire AL West right now. Team USA and Team Mexico are currently the one and two in the NL East. And Team USA is proving once again they're going to be an absolute problem in this entire thing. Like, look at how good Harper's doing. This guy, how? How is he doing that good? It looks like the guy's happy to be back in Washington. Team Venezuela and Team Colombia currently one and two in the NL Central. And then Team Curacao slash the Netherlands is on the top of the NL West, while Team Italy is uh, sleeping at the wheel. I don't know what the heck they're doing. Now, fast forwarding to the MLB Home Run Derby. This is going to be the first chance for some of these teams to get their first upgrades. And these are going to be the rules for the upgrades. In the Home Run Derby, whoever wins is going to be getting his team one upgrade token. And with the upgrade token, they unlock the upgrade wheel. And whatever upgrade the wheel lands on is going to be the upgrade they unlock for their team. And there's going to be plenty of chances for teams to be able to upgrade themselves. But first, let's get into this Home Run Derby as, oh my gosh. We got Bryce Harper from Team USA. We got Murakami from Team Japan. We got Rafael Devers from Team DR. We got Hans from the Netherlands. We got Jordan Alvarez from Cuba. Joey Votto, by the way, from Team Canada. Ronald Acuna Jr. from Team Venezuela. And Ozzy Albies, again, from Team Curacao slash the Netherlands. I'm excited for whoever's going to win this home run derby because anybody can take this right here. And in the first matchup of round one, we got Ozzy Albies versus Bryce Harper. And Ozzy Albies put on a show in round one, hitting 15 home runs. For the number eight seed, that's not bad. But now it's time for Bryce Harper. One of the only guys from Team USA. Let's hope he could show out. Oh my gosh, Bryce Harper's leaving the first minute with only four home runs? Bryce, you're making me nervous here, dude. Come on. Bryce Harper's got under a minute to go, and right now, he keeps fouling off home runs. This is not good. He also has none of the bonus time, as that's like his third straight foul ball. Bryce, get it together. You got Team USA on your back, bro. Come on. 15 seconds to hit three more home runs. Please, Bryce, come on. You gotta hit two right here. That's not gonna be it. No shot. We choked, Bryce. And in the second matchup, we had Jordan Alvarez from Team Cuba going up against Hans. Guys, I don't want to be mean to Hans, but I think we know exactly how this is gonna go. And wait a second. Okay, we got our first tiebreaker. Jordan, how did you let that happen? Dude, you have one of the most insane swings of all time. This dude can hit a ball two miles if he really wanted to. Yet he is in a tiebreaker versus Hans. I respect it. Hans, let's see what you do. And after the tiebreaker, Jordan Alvarez put up five home runs. Now it's time for Hans. But of course, it wasn't enough for Hans. As he hit four home runs in the tiebreaker, yet Jordan Alvarez is moving on. Now I move to matchup three with Joey Votto versus Rafael Devers. And Joey Votto fought pretty hard with 17 home runs. But Rafael Devers, I mean, you can't go up against them. The dude's got crazy power as he moves on. Now the last match of round one, we got Team Venezuela and Ronald Cunha Jr. versus Team Japan's Munitaka Murakami, aka the Japanese Barry Bonds is what they call him. This should be a crazy fight right here. And I'll be honest, Ronald out of round one came out a little bit flat. 16 home runs. It's still pretty good, but I feel like Murakami's got a lot more in him right here. Let's see what you got, Murakami. Let's see if he can beat out one of the best players in baseball. And oh my gosh, he does. And with that, Ronald Acuna Jr. and Team Venezuela is eliminated. In the first match of a round two, we have Ozzy Albies hitting 21 home runs. But Jordan Alvarez, of course, coming up clutch, hitting 22. And he is now on to the grand finals. Matchup two had Rafael Devers going up against Murakami. And Rafael put up 14. 
15 home runs. Okay, dude. Yeah, not good. And Murakami wiped the floor with Rafael Devers, and he moves on to the grand finals. Now we got Tim Cuban, Jordan Alvarez versus Team Japan, and Murataka Murakami. Who's getting the spin, boys? Let's see. Oh, man, this one's going to be close. Less than a minute left, and Jordan Alvarez is shown with 13 home runs. Unless he can hit about three more right here, I think Murakami's got this in the bag. And Jordan finishes off with 16 home runs. Definitely not his best showing. And here comes Team Japan. Only 17 home runs to win this thing. And with under two minutes left, Murakami is looking very, very good. Let's see if he's got it in him to beat Jordan Alvarez. And oh, no! What the choke job, bro! Jordan Alvarez, despite putting out his worst round, ends up taking the home run derby. And he wins Team Cuba their first upgrade token. Cuba, what are you getting? Upgrade two players in the team. That's actually going to be huge for them. And the two guys that Team Cuba decided to upgrade is Lourdes Gurriel Jr. and Nestor Cortez Jr. Now, with both of them sitting at 99, let's see if they can catch the Dominican Republic. And now, moving on to the next chance for these teams to get upgrade tokens. We have the All-Star Game, and the American League is going up against the National League. And whoever wins this game is going to be getting their entire league upgrade tokens. And based off how the standings were looking, I think the National League team needs to clutch up big right here. And through it so far, the National League team is clutching up as it's 4-1. to one. Let's see if they can hold on to that lead. They still have to go up against this lineup in the bottom of the ninth. And this team is looking so dangerous. And in the top of the ninth, the National League gets no insurance runs. And here comes the American League. Shohei Otani starting them off first. And this is going to be insane as that's a ball hit the center, but it hangs up. And coming down to the last out, the final hope, the American League is going with Dale Feldman. Who the heck is this dude? I guess he's their secret weapon. Let's see how this goes. Oh, God. Down one, two. This last strike and the animal clutches up. What do they got? And okay. With a 3-2 count, is the National League going to be able to get this? Oh, that is shot to left, but the NL does. And with that win, that means the entire National League gets an upgrade token. What is the entire National League team going to get as plus 10 contact versus left? That's actually going to be such a gigantic help in the postseason. Let's go ahead and move to the second half of the year and see what teams are going to be making out this postseason. With one series left to go in the regular season, this is how everything's shaking out. We got Team Japan breaking the LB record with 117 wins. We got two Two insane things as Team DR and Cuba beat the LB record as well. Team Australia looks like they're going to be taking a title in the AL West. We got the NL East. Oh my gosh, Team USA. That team needs to be nerfed. What is happening with that? Team Venezuela is about to break the LB record if they can actually do it. Also, Team Colombia doing a lot better than I thought they would. Considering this right here is Team Colombia, they're doing amazing. And then, of course, the Netherlands are on top of the NL West as Team Italy is looking not so hot right now. They're looking rough. It looks like they're actually going to get the boot out of the postseason. That's unfortunate. And to finish off the regular season, here we go. Now moving on to October 2nd, the playoff table is officially set. We got the Dominican Republic and Team Japan coming in first and second in the AL. And in the NL, we got Team USA and Team Venezuela round out the top two. But before the playoffs start, we have one more opportunity for these guys to get some more upgrades. Whatever teams have the winners of the MVPs and the Cy Young Awards are going to be getting upgrade tokens before the playoffs. This could be such a deciding factor in this. Let's see who's got it. In the AL, Shohei Otani of course, win the MVP. And Sandy for the Dominican Republic also wins the Cy Young. Wow. In the NL, we got Bryce Harper, of course, winning it for Team USA in the MVP. And then we also got Garrett Cole. Wow. Team USA is getting two upgrade tokens. That feels incredibly illegal. With Team Japan spin, they get to max out one attribute for their team. For the Dominican Republic, they get plus 15 to play discipline. And then spin number one for Team USA was plus 15 to play discipline again, which is insane. They don't need any more of that, to be honest. And then the final spin for Team USA was plus 10 to all contact versus right. If that team is not the most juiced up MLB team in history, I don't think there is one. Let's get the postseason started and let's see who ends up taking this World Series. For the first matchup on the AL side, we got Team Cuba going up against Team Puerto Rico in the wild card. Oh man, and here we go. A lot is going to be happening throughout these wild cards, so just make sure you guys are paying attention. Right now, Team Cuba is down by one. The wild card's a best of three, meaning if they lose this game right here to Team Puerto Rico, they get knocked out of the tournament. And as a team that won 120 games this year, that's going to be the biggest upset so far we've seen. Let's see if Team Cuba can come back because right now with the Roldis Chapman, it's not looking good. Oh my God, Christian Vasquez in Team Puerto Rico. Is the Roldis Chapman really about to screw this up for Team Cuba? I think he has as that's a clutch two run double for Team Puerto Rico and they take the lead in the top of the ninth. Oh, Roldis Chapman gets out of the jam. Team Cuba, you're coming up on your final half inning right here. They got a clutch up right here right now versus Edwin Diaz. And after Edwin Diaz got Jordan Alvarez to strike out in the bottom of the ninth, it looks like Team Cuba's chances are in the 
trash. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Garcia. That's a double. There's no way that Edwin Diaz is going to ruin this game for Team Puerto Rico. Oh my gosh, no way. Adolis Garcia. That's another double and Team Cuba ties up the game. Are you serious? I guess Team Cuba said no and their chances are not in the trash. Since Team Puerto Rico got nothing in the top of the 10th, it is now down to Team Cuba with a runner in scoring position in the bottom of the 10th. Now back to Jordan Alvarez. He's been silent this entire game for Team Cuba. There's no way he's about to do it. There's no way. Oh my gosh. Now it's on to Garcia. The guy that hit the first double in the inning to keep Cuba alive. If he ropes a single and walks this thing off, this entire place is going to go crazy. Let's see. That's high. That's deep. But it's not going to be good enough. Oh my gosh. We're going to even more extras. And back in the top of the 11th, Team Puerto Rico still could not get anything. Besides Carlos Correa and Christian Vasquez, they really don't have that good of a team. It's kind of unfortunate. But now Team Cuba is right back knocking on the door. No outs. A guy in scoring position again because Adolis Garcia hit a double because that guy's so good. And all they need is a single to score Adolis. And they are good to go. And oh my gosh. Now we move on to playoff Randy Rosarena. This could be gross. One, two count, two outs. I swear if Cuba chokes this. Randy. Oh my gosh. It went foul. Okay. That's unfortunate. If Cuba ends up losing this game, that is going to be such a heartbreaker right there. And wow, they get out of it. Puerto Rico gets out of one of the craziest jams we've seen this tournament. And this is not looking good for Team Cuba as Puerto Rico takes the lead in the top of the 12th. And oh my gosh, they're adding on to the lead. After scoring two runs in the top of the 12th, it is now 4-2 Puerto Rico. And this is not looking good for Team Cuba. And coming down to the last strike of Cuba's season, they got Jordan Alvarez out there. I still feel good about them, but I don't know how much Jordan's going to be able to do with this. Let's see. And oh my gosh, should he go around? No, he didn't. 3-2. And coming down to the last strike, potentially a team Team Cuba, Jordan Alvarez has worked the 3-2 count. Let's see what happens. And he takes the walk. And with the 1-2 count on Dario Garcia, that is going to be on the ground for Team Puerto Rico. Are they going to be able to do it? And they do. Team Puerto Rico is moving on to face Team Dominican Republic as they knock out one of the best teams coming in. Going around the league, looks like Team Canada ended up beating out Team Australia, and they're going to be facing Team Japan. And then for the NL, Team Mexico beat out Team Colombia 2-0. And the Netherlands also clinched their spot going up against Team Venezuela. This next round is going to be so insanely intense. And I think for this since all the games are going to be happening at one time i think we're going to focus on team usa versus team mexico that is going to be by far one of the biggest rivalry games of all time and in game one team mexico threw out jesus lizardo versus team usa's garrett cole and unfortunately for team mexico the strength of the usa just overpowered everything as they sweep team mexico three nothing now dominican republic versus puerto rico they also are going to be taking their spot so far one in the al's the dominican republic and one of the nl's team usa i got a bad feeling we're going to see them in the world series in a crazy turn of events canada that ends up knocking out Team Japan in four games. And then for the NL, we got Team Venezuela knocking out Team Netherlands. Now we got the final four set. We got Team DR going up against Team Canada and Team USA going up against Team Venezuela. Moving to the NL, Team USA is up 3-1 versus Team Venezuela, moving into potentially their final game. And man, Team Venezuela, I'm sorry you guys ran to the buzzsaw. 13-1 in the top of the ninth as Jacob deGrom has been throwing a complete game. He just needs one more out and he's single-handedly carried this entire pitching staff into the World series. Not to mention, resting up the entire USA bullpen heading into the World Series. That's a huge advantage right there. Let's see if they can actually get this. And there it is. Team USA, congratulations. They're the first team to get to the World Series. Now moving back to Team Dominican Republic versus Team Canada. And wow, it looks like that's already over. The Dominican Republic took that series four to one and they're gonna meet Team USA in the World Series. And here we go, World Series game one. Team USA versus Team Dominican Republic. This is about to be a crazy series. And the series starts in game one as the Dominican Republic take a resounding lead over Team USA. The bets have gone silent the entire game for Team USA. That's a one run bloop single as now now Mookie Betts is up to bat. Let's see what Mookie can do. And oh, he's already down to two strikes. This is not looking good for Team USA as hold on a minute. Base is loaded as Luis Castillo hits Mookie Betts. And now the tying run for Team USA is coming up with Nolan Arenado. There's no way that this is real life right now. Nolan Arenado, you've worked the count three, two. Emmanuel Class A, you got to bring in your best pitch right here. And oh God, it's fouled off. We're still going. My heart is pumping. I can't imagine what Nolan's feeling right now as no that skied out to fernando and that is a game one loss for team usa but luckily in game two team usa got right as they take it and even up the series but games three and four were intense as dominican republic takes game three and team usa takes game four huge momentum game coming up in game five what do they got and team usa takes game five ten nothing and team usa is heading back to washington for two games and all they have to do is win one and they win the world series and oh man top of the night two outs bases loaded for team dominican republic team usa is 
is up by one and Juan Soto is back in Nationals Park with again the bases loaded and Team Dominican Republic season on the line. Clayton Kershaw walked the bases loaded for Team USA so now Evan Phillips has got to clean up this mess. Evan what do you got? You still got the lead but it's Juan Soto. This could not be good as oh my gosh that's up there but is that gonna be a bloop? Trout's got to get over there and oh my god Team USA does it as they knock out the Dominican Republic and take that World Series win. What a heartbreaker for the Dominican Republic. I thought for sure once the bases got loaded that Team USA was going to choke this one too. But congratulations to by far the most overpowered team in baseball history. If you guys really enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like on it and subscribe down below. And if you want to see more like it, then be sure to click right here and I'll see you guys over there.